and my style to be jacking it. She know my swag is immaculate. What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, No Mercy Lambo. And I'm gonna be showing you how to beat DB Fire. Uh, highly requested right now for me. Uh, so what DB Fire is, is basically this base align pressed cover two with match coverage on. And uh, it actually plays great coverage versus almost everything. Uh, a lot of times versus bunch, they'll man this dude up to your solo side. They man this guy to your running back. It's a scissor. And uh, versus tight, a lot of the time, they can just send it like this. It'll actually stop a lot of mostly everything because you're getting blitzed at so fast. So my main thing I could say to pick this up is to call play action every play. I think picking it up is a great thing to know. You run the ball over and over, right? Run the ball like first down a lot of the times, like 10 rushes a game. You have to make sure they don't pass commit because if they don't pass commit, Every time they call this blitz and you call play action, they're just going to run in. You're going to pick it up. Not even going to get pressure. The only time that blitz is going to come in is when they pass commit. And if they pass commit, you can easily run the ball and destroy them for 90-yard touchdowns. So that's the best thing. Run the ball until they do this right here. Pinch their line. Make them pinch them. It's going to make the blitz a lot worse. Next, there's a glitch for the soft squats. So this is how it is, right? For some reason, when you motion block this guy, it makes this outside soft squat chase him. It's going to leave the whole left side of the field wide open. So watch. Boom. Motion block. A is going to be wide open. All wide by himself. You can do the same thing with B. You just can't send the running back out if you're doing it to B. So right here. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to use it to detackle so, you know, you can see. But uh, right here, I'm going to just do a, sl I'm going to do a slant uh, to the right, a post to the left. And then I'm going to motion block B now. And you're going to see he's going to chase the post. You're going to have Y wide open. And you can do this with a lot of plays. My, one of my favorite plays to do this type of stuff with is uh, PA seams. You know, you could... Uh, do a slant and a uh, drag and a slant and both the drag and the slant are going to be open because the soft squat's going to chase the Y route. So right here, you're going to have A open and B open just because you did the motion. It's going to glitch the soft squat. So your opponent's no longer going to be able to run soft squats on you, you know? You understand? So say they run clouds now or flats or anything. Now, even if they're running soft squats, this works too. But with the clouds, it's going to be a lot easier to cook. Like, the clouds really just don't pick up on much of anything, bro. Like, bench, call bench. They're not going, like, I don't know. They're not going to play the, the short routes. The soft squats are really what's playing the short routes. Like, the clouds you can just throw underneath on them the whole time. The hard flats you can just throw over. Now, the next thing I want to show you is PA seams. Straight up. I mean, it's a cover two beater. You got the A route to beat cover two. You got the B route to beat cover two. Like, the play is just too good versus cover two. So, it's going to force your opponent... The cover three mostly every play, but that's fine. Because most of the time, we're going to put X on the corner, right? Now when they run cover two, now when they run cover two, this corner route's going to be open. And what's really good about this play, this is like the best play in the game to beat DB fire type blitzes. Because no matter if they run cover two or cover three, this corner route, right? This corner route, Why? It's going to pull anything, even on the wide side, because it's a deep corner. So the third will always play it. Even on the wide side, short side, it doesn't matter. So right here, normally the third would play this. But since we have that corner route, it's not going to play it. An outside quarter, I'm pretty sure it's not even going to play it either. So no matter what they try to put out there, nothing's going to stop this corner route. Same thing with the right side. Since you have this inverted wheel, nothing's going to stop this side either. So right here on the right side, say they try to outside quarter you and inside third you. Unfortunately for them, say they even do like a curl flat or something. Like they're actually playing good defense and a hook curl, whatever. They got everything out there. And this 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 B route is going to pull the outside quarter and you can throw A. That time the linebacker matched on, that doesn't normally happen. It's because I put him in a vert hook. It's match. This dude number 58. But yeah. So that's that's a great way to beat it too. Uh, 
This spot shake play is great versus zones. You could throw this, the streaks up the middle a lot of the time, like right here. Just throw a seam over his head. That was a really nasty throw. Don't listen to me. Uh, but yeah, bench right here. I love bench versus cover two or cover three, any of it. Because right through this little seam, in this little pocket, you can uh, you can throw it straight to the, the corner route. So watch, like right in the pocket. Ag down, dodge him, right in the pocket. Boom. Throw it down, ag down. The KOs won't get there. Simple. Like every time you want. And that's going to fry. That's really that's really all you need, in my opinion. Like those plays, just I don't see how you could stop those. If you want in my, my ebook, I got all types, like 20 plus 30 setups of how, you know, when you do the motion, you can get all these players open. I'm going to show you one more example. You know, A on a crosser, B on a drag motion. You know, stuff like this. He's going to chase Y. You're going to have a crosser wide open down the field. Like, got a whole bunch of those plays in my ebook, man. I'm not trying to jip the people in my ebook and put it on on YouTube to where make them feel like they bought it for no reason. But that's that's real good. You got these flood concepts too. Like, on the right side, it's going to be real hard for two players to stop three players, if that makes sense. So we getting good blocking. We're not going to call bench, right? Because we need blocking this time. So we're going to call play action. And then we're going to make our own corner route. And then we're going to put Y on the in route. If that dude somehow plays the corner, then we got the underneath. If he doesn't play the corner, we got, you know, he doesn't play the underneath, we got the corner. So motion block right here. We got the corner. Got used by a computer. But you normally is going to have the corner. A lot of times bench switch is better versus cover two. But I wasn't expecting that. So but right here, like bench switch. Still right to B. Bing, bing. And yeah, Master Scout, we out. Hope this video helped you beat DB Fire. Hope you learned a thing or two. And yeah.